Good morning everyone happy sunday it's so sunny this morning i hope you guys are having a great day i feel like i haven't vlogged in forever it's been like a few days but you know but good morning it's so bright out today i love it um but i thought we could spend sunday morning together i don't think it'll be the whole day just because i try not to vlog every weekend i try to like take weekends off so my compromise today since i did want to vlog was to vlog like my morning with you guys so i'm really excited i'm really excited i haven't done a morning vlog in so long and they're some of my favorites i just there's something about a sunday morning that's like so wholesome and fun so i'm really looking forward to spending the morning together um i got up around 7 30 it's currently like nine something and yeah i'm so surprised i got up early on the weekend i'm a very much a big sleeper inner sleeper inner is that a word like someone who likes to sleep in i love to sleep in. i could sleep until like 10 o'clock but this weekend i've just been up and at i'm at like 7 38 which is nice the morning finishing my book which i guess i can give you a review on some of the books i read because the issue is i film my january resets like a week before they go up because i'm a week ahead of videos and so it's still january and i still have more books that I've read. So maybe I'll share with you guys the books that I read this weekend. But yesterday we had a really great day. We went to the bookstore with Matt's mom. Um, Matt hadn't been to Black Squirrel so we took him and they had new books and the lady recognized me at the cash and she was like, you were here this week? And I was like, I know. <laughs> but I got some new books. I'll share those with you guys. And uh, maybe I need to officially cut myself off for February. <laughs> um, yeah what else did we do we went to marshall's to look for a new soap dispenser and we found one i can't wait to show you guys and yeah we had a fun day yesterday we went to matt's parents for lunch and it was just like a cute little funzy day so i'm super excited obviously you guys can help by the title we have a lot of chatting to do but let's go downstairs and make a coffee Matt is heading out to go help his brother at their property. They're cutting down trees, but I'm just staying home because I have like some work to do. I had to vlog today and like all that stuff, but good morning. Welcome to a little Sunday morning. So these are my PJs, the ones from Indigo that I hauled like last week or so. They're super soft and for a medium, they're pretty oversized. The one thing I hate about shorts is I hate when they like dig in and these ones don't. They're pretty loose, which I love to sleep in. So they're really great. And like, yeah, it's, it's pretty chilly here. I think it's like minus 30 this morning and I'm still wearing shorts. I just, it gets so hot in our bed at night with like Stella and Matt. Um, and Stella, I get a lot of questions actually on that. Or not like a lot, but I, I feel like my go-to is like a lot of questions. But I get questions on where Stella sleeps at night and she sleeps like in our bed with us. Like she'll like be in between us like a human, like head on the pillow. It's the cutest thing in the world. Um, but I'm going to get ready. I usually just keep like a sweat set by my bed or in the drawer. And we're going to go downstairs and I'm so excited because I found a new coffee creamer and I'm so excited i'm so excited oh i just i love sunday mornings even though i've been awake for like two hours i just love sunday mornings okay let's get dressed this with you guys it has been like not an unproductive weekend but like i've read three books this weekend like we've had a really chill weekend but that's because it's so freaking cold here like it's been so cold that all we do is wake up and we read for a few hours so it gets warm enough to go outside and then we take it out for a walk or go on an adventure and then come home and then we just read all evening it's truly the best time in the world. Gray on gray, but they're different shades of gray, you know? And my Amazon slippers. I still really want those North Face Thermoball slippers, you guys. I just can't pull the plug because they're $75, but I want them so bad. And I read The Kiss Quotient, and it was so cute. Like, total five-star read. It was, like, really, really precious. I'll let you guys read the back end and read it, but it was so cute. So cute. And then I read on my Kindle as well. I also finished The Maid and I didn't really like it to be quite honest with you guys. This one is like a clue inspired book. Um, it's about a maid who finds like a dead body and it's like a whodunit situation and I didn't love it to be quite honest. I gave it like three stars. Mucho predictable. But look how quickly my bookcase is growing. And I had to literally start this one too. But I'll give you guys a haul of the new books that I got which I didn't need but you can never have too many books. Um, fun things that I did yesterday when I was bored, I turned this, which used to be our built bars and like snack drawers into like a drink drawer, you know what I mean? Because I know I just thought it vibes better. So we have like hot chocolate and teas and Nespresso pods and Matt and I are huge like tea people too. So I wanted to have a better spot for it instead of like, it was all just like in this and then these pods are pretty. So I put them in here. So I did that. So now when I'm bored, I just reorganized our whole kitchen, even though we're going to renovate it. Um, and then I just organized this a bit better. I mean, it's kind of hard because we have a lot of goodies right now, but 
yeah, like all the built bars are down here now. I am obsessed with baby cookies, you guys. Air root cookies, they're so good. So I have those, and like we have a bunch of snacks. And my mom made us some muffins. I am so obsessed with these keto nuggets, even though I'm not keto. Tim Tams for slams, of course. And yeah, so I just kind of organized this. That's like extra tea and whatnot. Oh, I also need to take my greens. My greens are about to be done, and I think I'm gonna try athletic greens after this. I don't wanna like commit to one. You know what I mean? Like, I want to try a bunch of different ones out and see how I like them. So, after this is done, I think I have a few scoops. I'm going to try Athletic Greens out. I'm really excited. I've heard really great things. So, I need to take this. We got... Look how cute, you guys. It's, like, subtle Disney. I'm obsessed with anything that's, like, subtly Disney. I mean, it's not subtle because it's Mickey Mouse. But, like, you know what I mean? It's not, like, colorful. But we needed a new soap dispenser. And I saw this and I literally, like, almost pooped my pants. So, we bought it. Wait, you guys, until I vlog. And it's, like, nice and white and just so much nicer in here. But... Yesterday, Matt and I got coffees from McDonald's because we get free coffee as healthcare workers. So I got one because we got it pretty late in the afternoon. Matt got a decaf, so I decided to save mine till today and have like an iced coffee because I finally freaking found the Silk Maple Creamer. You guys, I live in Canada. The choices for creamer here are absolute effing trash. And Silk has really just been killing it in the last year. So when I saw this on TikTok, I was so excited. You guys know I don't really like sweet coffee, but like once in a while I like a little, you know, something, something. So I'm excited. I don't know. I don't know if this is too big, but we're gonna find out. Oh, perfect. Love it. Anyways, so yeah. If you're a healthcare worker, you can get free coffee. I actually have to go out later, so I might go get another one, to be honest. Well, it's like the next day. I'm not scamming the system, but you know, I might do that. Okay. I'm a little nervous. I don't know how good it's going to be. I never know how much to put in. Like... How do I know if that's enough? Like, how do I know what's enough? Okay, well. I'm just gonna, like, hope that this is enough, I guess. Boom. There you go. I feel like the coffee's not very strong. Um, alrighty, guys. Obviously, I just got ready. Threw my hair up in, like, a little claw clip situation. I was just doing some banking because I got my AdSense yesterday on a Saturday. Like, I was doing, I was just, like, putting that into my savings because it comes through into my checkings. And yeah, but let's do a little taste test of the coffee. Um, that's I, I already tried it actually, that's a lie, but I get why a lot of people don't like it because it isn't overly sweet like a lot of the silk creamers. This one's very, very subtle, which is why I like it. And you don't really taste anything. And then you get this like slight aftertaste of maple. So I really like it. Um, I don't know if I'd buy it again, but I like it. I'm just not like a huge creamer person. It's yummy. The shot of espresso helps. I feel like the McDonald's coffee isn't very strong. Yeah, but I figured I'd show you guys the books that I got yesterday. Because I totally need to buy more books. I just updated my like end of month budget. And I spent $102.37 on books so far. So, love it. But five books for like 40 something dollars. It was a really good deal. So, so here are the books that I got. I'm so excited. First one has been on my TBR for a really long time. It's Just Last Night by Mari McFarlane. Um, yeah, it's been on my TBR for a while. I'm really excited to read this one. This is about, it says, lifelong friendships, long buried secrets, and unexpected love in a heartfelt, emotional new novel. Um, they say every love story starts with a single moment. What if it was last night? I'm so excited to read this. These books are $8. Eight or 10. So, yeah. Um, next one, I, I really want to, I mean, obviously I do read a lot of like not book talk books. Like I think I read a lot of like indie authors. I love finding stuff on Amazon to read. And so this year I'm trying to make it more of an effort to read more books that aren't necessarily like super hyped up on TikTok to give you guys new recommendations. Cause as much as I love that, like everyone is reading, I feel like everyone is getting the same recommendations. So I'm really trying to find new books and see how I like them and share them with you guys. So the first one is Anatomy of a Scandal by Sarah Vaughn. This just looked right up my alley. 
and it just says some people's secrets are darker than others and it just looked really really good Fitting story of power revenge and deception no one's motives are pure but some people's secrets are much darker than others don't you cry by Cass green it just says one stolen baby two desperate strangers one night of terror sounds pretty different than other ones um i mean i already love lisa jewel she's amazing invisible girl is actually one of the only ones i haven't read um do i have any other ones no um but i've pretty much read like all of her other books so this is about i don't really know what this one's about a taunt thriller following a group of people whose lives shockingly intersect when a young woman disappears. I love these kinds of books that have like a bunch of POVs and like their lives all like intersect. I think they're really interesting. And then the last one is one that Matt's mom recommended because we took her to the bookstore with us and it's The Winemaker's Wife because she knows I love historical fiction. Kristen Harmel. I'm really excited to read this. I'm trying to get like outside of my comfort zone too and just like read books that might be popular but maybe not like right up my alley. Uh, this says... A remarkable and moving story of forbidden love, shocking secrets, and devastating betrayal set amid the champagne vi vineyards of northern France during the darkest days of World War II. So, really excited to read this one as well. I really want to read, um, what's it called? A Court of Thorns and Roses. I know you guys are all recommending it. I don't normally love fantasy books, but a lot of you guys were saying that it's really good so i might i might give it a go let me know if like you're not normally into fantasy and you read it because i kind of want to give it a go but we'll see but yeah those are the five books that i picked up at the bookstore and yeah i just love books so much um that's what's going on yeah Alrighty, guys it's time we have a little chat i was gonna like get ready for this and everything but this is just my sunday Stella has to come over and see what's going on. To be honest, I was going to make this a whole sit-down video, and then the more I thought about it, the more I'm just going to sit down and rant. Wow. It's exhausting to be you, eh? Oh, thank you for that kiss. This is this video. This is this video, Stella. Okay, Mommy's going to try and film. Can I film? Every time I try and film here, you need to be in the way. Okay, can you sit? You want to listen to Mommy? You can stay, but you have to... Okay, okay. Oh, thank you. Oh, so many kisses. Oh, so many kisses. I'll talk to the camera and tell them the big news. Yeah, you already know the big news because mommy told you when it happened. But I got to tell the vlog. I got to tell our friends what's going on. Are you excited about the big news? So, the title is not clickbait. I did quit my job. However, I'm not being a full-time content creator and I'll explain that after. But, uh, you guys saw my quarter life crisis video. And I got mostly good feedback on the video. You guys were so sweet. You were like, I don't have it figured out either. Um, and a lot of you guys were so sweet. And were like, if you want to pursue content creation full time, like go for it. It's your personality that's relatable and like your life that you live. I don't think I will ever be a full time content creator. And I can tell you guys why quickly. And this isn't a dig at anyone who is. I respect the hell out of anyone who's a full time content creator because that must be scary. I don't want to pursue content creation full-time because having this as like a side source of income allows me to be, I don't want to use the word selfish, but selfish with what I share with you guys, right? I'm not saying that full-time creators aren't working with brands they love because I know that they are, or most people are. I'm just saying when this becomes your job, you kind of have to be a bit less picky. Like, I don't want to, I'm just talking about me. Like, I don't want YouTube to become my full-time job and have to take on more brand deals and stuff that I don't necessarily love because I have to pay the bills, right? Now I can be very selfish with who I work with because this money is just going to my savings. If I don't work with any brands one month, fine. If I work with one, fine. If I work with four brands I love, great. You know what I mean? Like, I can be selfish about those decisions. And once again, I'm not saying that anyone who does content creation full-time, like, works with brands they don't like. I just mean that I can be a lot more selective. And I don't have to feel bad if I turn something down because it's not like I have to pay a bill with it, you know? And I just enjoy YouTube being fun for me. And I don't, I don't view it as a job, even though it is my primary source of income. I don't view it as a job because it's just fun for me. And I don't want it to become a job for me quite yet. And like I said, you never know what the future holds. But for right now... I'm happy not being a full-time content creator. With that being said, um, I did quit my job and I am starting a new position, which I'm really, really excited about. This video, 
I wanted to film because I feel like a lot of videos that are like I quit my job are like you know people hated their job or anything and you guys know when I quit my job last year my job that I had been at for almost four years it was really hard leaving a job that you loved but you knew it was time to move on and the same thing is kind of going on right now this position I'm not really going to go on to see a lot into a detail with it because I did share my last job on like LinkedIn and stuff and people found me and people reported me and like to my job and I just really want to keep that part of my life private. I don't know if there'll be work vlogs going forward to be quite honest with you guys because I feel like this is almost a fresh start for me. It's a new chapter and I'm just quickly realizing that I really enjoy keeping my work life pretty private from YouTube. Um, I've enjoyed filming the work vlogs. I've enjoyed that chapter of my life, but I think that chapter of my life might be coming to an end. Uh, obviously, I'm still vlogging. I'm not going anywhere, but you guys have noticed that I film less and less work content, and I think it might stay that way. I might do the occasional work week video, but the work days, like, that's just not going to happen frequently, and you guys are okay with it. You guys love the lifestyle content, so that's the first thing I want to get off my chest, but, um... Obviously, in my quarter life crisis video, I kind of said like something had to give. Like I was doing grad school, starting grad school, I was working full time. I was doing YouTube full time. Like I upload three videos a week. That is like more than some full time content creators do, right? And I, you know, obviously discussed it at length with Matt, and I just kind of didn't really know what to do. And anyways, this position came up, and I interviewed for it. It went really, really well. And a week later, or so. A week ago they called me um actually on my day off on monday they called me and offered me the job and i accepted it and i'm really excited so to give you guys a little bit of context i work full-time five days a week remotely right now um, i'm a data assistant so i'm in a very very entry-level position and it was a great experience like i have nothing bad to say about my job um like when I called my manager to tell her, like all I said was that I just needed a step back. Like I had, was juggling too much and I couldn't give 100% to my job anymore. Um, and I think it takes a big person to be able to admit that, right? Like I could feel myself starting to not be able to give 100% to my job because I was always like grad school, YouTube, like so much going on. And obviously it wasn't at a point yet where I couldn't give 100%, but I could feel myself getting there. And I was just overwhelmed constantly. And as much as I do live a healthy life and I do live a balanced life, like I can feel myself slipping in the sense that I am reaching for something quick and not healthy anymore. I'm cutting out my lunchtime walk because I have to get a YouTube video done. And like I can feel myself starting to slip and it's not healthy. So that's why I told my manager, like there's no tea here. There's nothing juicy to say. Like I just needed to cut back somewhere and it made the most sense to cut back from something that isn't my biggest source of income. I also felt like it was time to try something new. <clears throat> I think your 20s is all about trying new things, trying new opportunities out. The healthcare system in Canada or, or the hospital system is really great because there's so much opportunity. There's temporary positions, there's contract positions, there's so many things you can try. And your 20s is all about trying new things. I really hate the notion that you have to like stay in a job the second you get hired. Sorry, the sun is like coming out and it's really awkward lighting and stay in there till like the day you die. Like that's our parents' generation, right? And I'm so about trying new things and gaining new skills. And if I wanna move into management, I have to be more of a well-rounded employee. Like I can't stay at this job until I become a manager because I need other skills. I need to well-round myself more. Um, <clears throat> and it was just my time to move on. It, and it, like I said, it's for a multiple variety of reasons, right? It's needing to take a step back and like something had to give. It was needing to gain new skills. It was wanting to try something new. And I really want 2022 to be the year that I do things that make me uncomfortable in a good way, right? I was getting really comfortable at my job. And I'm not saying there's anything wrong with getting comfortable at a job and staying at it. But I don't want that. I'm someone who when I stay comfortable, I'll stay somewhere for a long time, regardless if it's serving me anymore, paying me well, or anything. I need to be better about being uncomfortable. So... That's all, there's no tea here. It's just that I needed to take a step back because I have so much on my plate. Um, yeah, that's all. Sorry if you were looking for some tea. I feel like every video about quitting the job is like tea, 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 throwing the tea, spilling the tea, there's nothing. So, my new job. I am really grateful for this opportunity for a multitude of reasons. First, I have a pay increase, so I don't think my pay will that much be affected. 
I know I'm gonna be working between a 0.6 and 0.8, which if you guys don't know what the point code system is, basically it's just how a lot of hospitals operate in terms of how many shifts they offer you. So full-time employee, five days a week, 75 hours in a pay period is a 1.0 employee. And then you can go down. So a 0.8 is obviously a little bit less than a 1.0 and a 0.8 is four days a week, a 0.6 is three days a week, a 0.4 is two days a week, etc. So I'm starting off as a 0.6 and going to a 0.8. Um, so I'll be working between three to four days a week, just depends. Um, and that not only gives me time to work on YouTube, but it also gives me time to work on grad school. So I'm really excited. I uh, yes, I'm going part-time. What else? What else? What else? I feel like there's gonna be a lot of questions I'm happy to answer anything down below for you guys Um, what else? Okay, I covered how many days I'm working And yeah, the job is really flexible, which I really love so it's between three to four days a week and you know I, That's what I want like I don't Like I want to work a little bit less and this is the time in my life to be selfish right before like Matt and I settle down it feels like taking a leap of faith in terms of like YouTube, but also I still have a secure paycheck coming in every two weeks, which is nice um, I think I mentioned no, maybe I didn't but my I actually am getting well Let me just discuss all the pros right now. So The first pro is I'm actually being paid more um, Which is great. So I don't really think my my bi-weekly salary will be affected too too much honestly, which is really great because I also will I think getting in lieu of as well, which is really fun. So I um, Yeah, well obviously not really know I actually think I'm gonna film for the first time like a money I'm just gonna shift you guys because the lighting is really wonky here, but I think I'm gonna film like a little like mid-month money update when I get my new paycheck and we can kind of like figure it out together but based on the calculations I've been doing and based on my old paychecks when I was making more they won't actually be that different because I'll be making a decent amount more per hour so that's really great and reassuring um, and my whole style of like budgeting is gonna change now which is really fun so I'm excited for that the second thing is I am getting a bump up in title so I'm going from being an assistant to a coordinator which I just feel like all around God has really put this in my lap for me like this is just such an amazing opportunity so um, I'm not only gaining you know I'm gaining a lot from this right like I'm I'm being paid more I'm getting a but with being paid more comes a bump in title and responsibility so I'll be taking on a lot more responsibility which I'm excited about I'm excited to kind of gain some more skills and I'm actually leaving hematology which is the department I worked in I've been in hematology for four years which makes me uncomfortable because it's like all I know but I'm really excited to try something new and I'm really proud of myself for trying something new because I like I said I like to be comfortable and stay at something even though it's not serving me anymore so yeah that's that um I like I said I'm not gonna go very much into detail about what I'm going to be doing to be quite honest just because it was very easy last time for people to figure out like my manager from like my LinkedIn. So I actually deactivated my LinkedIn. Um, and yeah, but I will be a coordinator for um, the division. I'm actually going to be kind of going back to my old role. So if you guys have been here for a while, I was an education coordinator for a little bit. I feel like I need to turn up the brightness on this. It's really dark, but I was an education coordinator for like Epic and IT. I'm just going to turn up my exposure. There we go. Um, and, oh, that's so much better. Why didn't I do that earlier? I am kind of going to be honing in on those skills again. And I'm just excited to kind of have like a bump in responsibility and just be able to work harder, try new things, get outside of my comfort zone. This is like the longest clip ever. I'm so sorry, but I just need to get it all out. And like I said, if I don't answer something, just ask me down below or DM me. I'm happy to answer. So yeah, I'm headed to a new division. I'm working with a whole new group of people like at least this job when I transferred over I knew everyone or knew of them um, and yeah I will still be working remotely I, I figured I'd probably get that question I will be going in on I think Thursdays I think just to meet with the doctors and the physicians but uh, yeah I'm starting with three days a week and then I'll work up to four but it'll be like three some weeks and four the other like I said I'm not picky like I don't like need to work four days a week um, it's fine so yeah i start the week of valentine's day which is super fun i actually think i start on valentine's day which is fun it's valentine's day the 14th or the 15th i think it's the 14th right yeah um so yeah that's super exciting i'm trying to think if there's anything else i forgot but yeah i'm gonna be doing a lot of different things as a coordinator obviously we'll have a lot of hats now it's almost 
Oh my god, the freaking furnace is so loud. It's turning on, that's probably my cue to stop recording for now, but I wanted to sit down and get this like little update out of the way for the vlog, because I know that's why all of you guys are here. That's why I would be here too, so don't worry, I get it. And yeah, I'm really excited to take you guys on this next chapter and just like have a whole day dedicated to YouTube and grad school. Um, so when I told you guys I was trying to find a routine for school, I was lying because I knew I was taking this job. I'd already accepted it. So my plan for when I'm doing three days a week at the beginning is to have one grad school day and then one YouTube day. So I'm really grateful I can actually pick my schedule, which is really awesome. So I'm going to be working Tuesday, Wednesdays, and Thursdays for like the foreseeable future until I switch to four days. And some weeks might be three, some weeks might be four. I'm very flexible, obviously, which is really nice to have an employee. Um, so Mondays will be my YouTube or grad school day, and then Friday, would, whichever I don't do on the Monday. So that's kind of my plan, but I'm really excited to take you guys along. It'll make filming like morning routines easier. And I hope I'm still relatable to you guys and I'm not like saying that in a bad way I just I mean I hope I'm still relatable because I am still working but I'm just taking a step back to focus on grad school and YouTube and but it's off my chest I'm so happy to tell you guys I've kept this in for a week now and I just was like I need to tell them so that's my update like I said if you guys have any questions just let me know down below I'm happy to answer anything and I'm gonna get some more computer work done and then we're gonna go out and just run our errands and then I'll probably end the vlog off. It's probably gonna be a little shorter, but I just really wanted to like sit down and like just chat with you guys about all the exciting things. This, we have these like Costco sliders. So I wanted to like incorporate some kind of like breakfast sandwich. So I just did scrambled eggs with like a little Havarti slice and some turkey. Yummy. I finished this book. So underrated. Please go read it. I got it for $2.99 in the Kindle store. You guys, this book is like hating game times 100. I think I like it more than hating game. It's so good. Like, I don't know how this book only has a couple hundred reviews on Kindle. This is the name of it. It is like workplace, enemies to lovers, slash arranged marriage, the spice, the banter, the slow burn, everything. Like, you need to drop everything you're doing and reading this book. It's Seriously, amazing. Hey guys, I swear I cannot figure out what I want to do with my hair today, but I'm actually going to go ahead and end the vlog off here. I know it was probably short, but I really just like wanted to get this news out to you guys. And like I said, I want to spend the afternoon just like relaxing and cleaning and not worrying about vlogging because I'm really trying to like separate and be better about balancing everything. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm so excited to take you guys along on this next journey. And I don't know, this just like feels like chasing my dreams, but like, Maybe just a bit more realistic for now. Obviously, there's nothing wrong if you chase your dreams and just quit your corporate job and go for it, but this is like a step in the right direction. You know what I mean? So I'm really excited to share this next step with you guys, this next journey. I hope you guys are excited. And yeah, I guess I'll talk to you guys in the next vlog. Bye.